equivalent ratios. Let's dive right in and then I'll draw you some pictures at some point. So two days every three years, make sure you line them up. Is it the same as four days every 15 years? So we technically don't know this is true. I don't wanna write the question mark every time, but in theory, we don't know if it's true. So all you gotta do is cross multiply and see if it works out, right? So two times 15, 30. I'll just write that. 12, are they the same? No. So these ratios aren't equivalent because two out of three is not the same as four out of 15. So no, cross multiplying, I think you guys like that. Four out of five, 16 out of 20. I'll draw a picture for this one. So 80 equals 80, great. End of story, yes. Now, it's basically like if I were to draw a calendar and I had four out of five, that'd be the same as if I did, ugh, that's a bad picture. Be patient, be patient. I'm sorry, guys. Um, four out of five. If I broke this, so that would be like this, two, three, four out of five, but then I could break it up into more pieces. No, oh, no, I broke it up into too many pieces. Last time, last time. Four out of five. I'll do this, this, and this. Hooray, I finally got it. That's the same as 16 out of 20. So you can see it's the same. But you don't have to draw the picture to do that. So yes. We, did, we got that from cross multiplying. Okay, I won't waste your time with those pictures anymore. Two out of five, eight out of 10. Do the old cross multiplying, we get 20. We get 40. Nope. Two out of five, six out of 25, maybe? We get 50, we get 30, nope. Four out of five, eight out of 10. I think we feel good about this though, right? 40, 40. Looks good to me. You could also take the four and multiply it by two and the five and multiply it by two and see that you get the same thing. So yes, any way you slice it. Four out of five, 16 out of 20. That's 80. That's 80, looking good, yes. All right, two out of five, 10 out of 20, that doesn't feel right. 10 out of 20 feels like a half, and we know that's not gonna work. That's 40, that's 50, nope. And two out of four, six out of eight, 16, 24, nope. Four out of five, 12 out of 25. 
That's a hundred. That's uh, sixty. Those are really way off, right? Because twelve out of twenty-five is less than a half, and four out of five is more than a half. So that's clearly not going to work. One foot out of every two days. Two feet out of every six days. Well, again, one half is a half. Two sixths is not a half. So, no. All right, I think you get the hang of it. Cross multiply. One other thing you could do without cross multiplying is two out of four, eight out of 16. If you can find a number, like this is times two and this is times two, if those numbers match, they're also going to be proportional. So yes here. You could also cross multiply. All right, I'll leave you with that. Have a good one.